excited for uh, an actual spring game? Oh yeah, definitely. It's always fun to play football. How would you kind of say your spring has gone? What, what, what have you gotten out of it? It's definitely been a learning process. Um, I've been trying to work on my pass rush. That's what we were missing last year, so that's definitely a key point of emphasis we've been putting in. Um, just watching a lot of NFL film and seeing how the pros do it. What, what have you guys done on the field to get better at pass rush? Uh, we've been working with Coach Vince a lot on individual moves and kind of breaking down the steps and working on individual parts to get us where we need to be, stances, um, individual pass moves, stuff like that. How much progress do you feel like you guys have made? A lot, definitely. It's a big difference from last year. Um, we're getting better. Do you feel like you guys are spending more time working on those specific pass rush moves than in previous practices? Not necessarily. I mean, we're doing every, we're focusing on what we need to focus on, and um, everything else takes care of itself. But we do like put emphasis on things that we need to work on every practice. Uh, for instance, Coach Vince, Coach Lucy, they both like ask what we need to work on. But I think the head coach does a good job of like asking us and getting feedback from us on what we need to do to get ourselves better, and what they need to do to get us better. So all of that helps us during practice. Who are some of those NFL guys that you? Lots of Aaron Donald. A lot. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, in that's interesting because he's an inside rusher. Yep. So how, how can you use his technique as an inside rusher with someone? Honestly, to me, it's pressure? all the same. Uh, I've been looking at chop. Or, I don't know. Anyway, I've been looking at a specific move that he does a lot, uh, and it works on the inside on the outside. It's the same move, basically, just in a different position. Speaking about that, you've kind of moved between like the four eye and then outside linebacker. How, how has that been a difference for you in approach and what they ask of you, what they want you to do? Physicality. Um, it's playing on the inside requires like a higher level of physicality and strain, definitely. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nothing that I haven't been done before. So I'm not going to say that I'm used to it because I haven't done it in a while, but it's definitely something that kind of was like in my back pocket that I come back to. Because you played in, in high school mostly right. with your hand down, right? Right. I, what do you prefer? Do you, do you... Football is football. <laughs> I mean, I love to play football, so whatever I could do to help the team better is what I'll do. Do you feel your quickness might benefit you at the 4i more, would uh, you say? I think it helps me everywhere. So definitely at the 4i, it's, um, I guess the tackles aren't used to blocking someone as fast as I am, maybe. Um, but I think it definitely helps me get to the ball, uh, hit my moves faster, things like that. If you guys can get the pass rush you're looking for, what's that going to do for the defense? Or, or how's that going to change the dynamic? It's going to take a lot of pressure off of our uh, DBs. So right now they're really solid and they're doing their thing. So if we can get our pass rush going, uh, I think we'll have more of a complete defense. I feel like you guys were in the backfield quite a bit last season, but not able to get home and actually make the play. How, how do you kind of take that from being there to getting the sack? Um, I think that in particular is a finishing aspect. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times for me, what I've noticed is I'll kind of get to the tackle. And I won't really work a move as I should have. Mm -hmm. So I think for a lot of people, it's just the finishing aspect, working a move and finishing off of it getting to the quarterback, that final level of strain that you kind of fail to do subconsciously to that next level. That does, that, does that come with experience? Are there more drills you can do, but is it just a feel in the game for being able to finish like that? I feel like everything comes with practice. I feel like no pro has gone to where they've gone to without practice and building experience. So I don't know if, I mean, maybe there are guys who get to the game and they're like, oh, it's a different thing now, but I don't really believe in that. I feel like they all kind of work their way up there when they get to the game. It's the practice that they've done that uh, helps them succeed. Well, where do you think the team's pass rush in general is compared to la last season, let's say? Definitely elevated it. The guys have gotten better. Um, and we're working hard at it, too. But having, not having KLS out here for, for most of the spring, how does that impact it? What's, what's been going on out here? Um, we're just working harder, more reps. Uh, I feel like we just need to focus on what we're doing, and he's going to get back to us after he's done with what he's doing. And, yeah. I think you had three of the D-line's four sacks last season. How much do you guys need to kind of take that to the next level 
and, and really kind of get home and, and, and increase the pass rush and, and get that number up. Uh, it's definitely one of the things that I was working on, we are working on as a unit, drilling-wise in the off-season. I'm going to try and continue to enhance it, just working drills, watching film, just seeing what we can do to, to get that better. But the more we increase that as a, as a whole, it's going to be able to help us as a unit play off each other. You feel like you've made a lot of strides in, the, in that area this spring? I feel like I've made some good strides, yes, but it's definitely it's not where I want it to be, so it's got to continue to drill it, continue to improve it, always improving. Coach talks about being obsessed with improvement, so it's not something that I could, I could ever be satisfied with. Just got to keep working on it. What's it like for you being on this defensive line right now? It seems like you're kind of the oldest guy there. You've got a lot of uh, young guys who have got some experience. Um, it's good having guys with experience, but uh, just trying to set an example, standard of effort, always running to the ball, always finishing everything that we do. So just getting a collective, being able to do that. So I think it's, it's going to be good having guys that are experienced going in next year. Have you guys worked a lot on finishing in the backfield? Because you guys were in the backfield a lot last year, but getting home and making the play uh, seemed to be kind of an issue. What, what have you guys done to kind of work on completing those plays? Just working on position, getting the shoulder leverage. We've been drilling the tackles, different kinds of tackles, being in those positions and just finishing with the right body position just to make that play. Do you think overall the team's pass rushing has improved since last season? Is that what you're so. seeing out here? I would say so. We're just focusing on the improvement, working on improving, always improving, always improving, never being satisfied. So I will say, yeah. How are you? Uh, there's quite a bit of position movement. Uh, you line up at different spots. How do you think that is good for you? How, how has that improved your game, giving you different, different spots to start from? I like to be versatile. So if they want to move me around, they could do that. I just, I just want to line up and play. So wherever they line me up at, I just got to make sure I know, know my position, know my assignment. And as coming into the second year, the scheme is just starting to get that down more, starting to feel more natural. So I feel like if they feel like they're confident enough to move me around, that's good. Do you think it was a bit of a special challenge, just existing players here from the, from the last coaching regime to come in uh, with, with the new staff coming in, do you think that was a special challenge for the guys that were already here? I mean, there's always growing pains when you're when you're dealing with change. There's always growing pains, but I feel like guys have done a good job adjusting and buying in. I feel just adapting with the culture change. You feel like you're maybe one of the survivors. There aren't too many guys left. Um, I would say, yeah, but everyone's doing well. You know, I keep up with my guys. Everyone's doing good, so it's all good on this end.